And the first time I, I slept in the same, under the same roof with my parents, I was 22 years old. I actually felt like I raised my brothers and sisters because my mom came back from Somalia and I was still a young man with five children and no husband. So I was always that person to protect somebody who needs to be protected. I called a man daddy who wasn't my dad and, and someone mom who wasn't my mom. My mom always had different children from the community coming uh, in the house, feeding them, playing with us, etc. I always say that I'll be able to help someone somewhere, someday. And it has been challenging but rewarding. When I heard the word passport here, I think God challenged me. As a young man, I grew up with a dad that wasn't my dad neither. Because my mom and my dad separated very early and he loved me. And for a while I couldn't understand why a man that wasn't your dad would love me just as much. It's in love with children. When the call came, I accepted immediately. When families are struggling, you don't really know what the struggle. It's not because then maybe the family don't want this child or anything like that, but it's maybe because the struggle is so great they cannot afford the things that you can afford. They don't have the time, as we know in Anguilla, parents working two jobs, and it's not because you don't want to be with your child, but when life gives you no options, you have to do what is best. People feel as if um, the child is at a disadvantage, not being brought up with their, with their parents, but that's, that's not true. As long as you are willing to you know, open yourself for that as well as your home, then I say give it a chance. You should just tell yourself from the day that you foster that child, it's your child. Plan properly and with God's help, we will make it. Mm -hmm. Because he does not give us any assignment that he does not go before us and give us the grace every day to deal with. The very morning, first morning he woke up in our home, and I went in the room, well, both me and my wife went to check on him, and he said, good morning, Dad. One of the most rewarding contributions that you could ever make is to give a better opportunity to a child, mm -hmm. no matter the consequences, no matter the challenges and the sacrifice, it would be worth it at the end of the day. My name is Colin Webster, social worker at Department of Social Development, working in the Family and Social Services Unit, which has responsibilities for the foster care system in Angola. I encourage persons to become foster parents for children who need us more than ever before. A bit of care and nurture, don't judge the cover, think about the future, let's be there.